What the heck? What is this new camera angle? I don't think you guys are mentally prepared for what I'm about to do. Oh, well, that was anticlimactic. Let's try it again. What the heck? What the heck? What is this? It's a cube, but every side is a different color. Wait a minute, that's not a cube. That's nine cubes. Wait a minute, no. It's 27 cubes. Oh no. This is a Rubik's cube. Oh no, I'm making a video about it. Oh no, I'm doing the unthinkable. Oh no, whatever shall I do? No. Welcome to Tessera's Nerf Room. <laughs> so, Rubik's Cubes are not exactly territory on this channel that y'all have seen before. And that is for one specific reason. Uh, uh, this is not my, this is not my main specialty when it comes to YouTube. My main specialty is Nerf Blasters. I'm a Nerf Review channel, not a Rubik's Cube channel. So why Rubik's Cube? And honestly, this is a very experimental video. That's why there's no intro or anything. It's just, the video, and I want to see if this is going to work at all, if this video does good, if you guys enjoy it, or if, if you just want me to scrap the idea of Rubik's Cubes off the face of the earth. So, let's get on to the subject of the video. This is a Rubik's Cube. Pretty much everybody knows what this is. Either if you have one or have seen one, you know what a Rubik's Cube is. It is the most classic little handheld puzzle imaginable. It's a cube. Very simple. Each piece has a different set of colors on it. Your goal is to make six solid faces of color. Seems easy, and then you start playing with it and you realize that it's really, really hard. And either you know how to do it, or you're probably never going to be able to solve this ever in any way. I happen to know how to solve it. And I'm here to review the original Rubik's Cube, just because I, why not? And this isn't actually an original Rubik's Cube, it's the new one, where they somehow successfully made it worse. How did that happen? It's a new version, and it's worse than the last one. So, um... Uh, I don't know. Let's just go over the actual appearance of the cube and why it's so iconic. Mainly because it's such a simplistic little idea. A Rubik's Cube. It's a cube made of smaller cubes that you can turn each side. Almost like a magic cube. Like you see hundreds of them on the internet that call themselves magic cubes. It's not magic. It's actually a very simple mechanism to make this work, but that's not to be discussed in today's video. And after this puzzle came out, pretty much everybody tried to solve it and very few succeeded. But the few who did succeed really went above and beyond as they succeeded and created an entire conglomerate of, of Rubik's Cube corporations like Moyu and Shangshao and, and, and Qi and other names that I can't pronounce properly and I'm probably going to get strangled for. But, but that's not the point. The Rubik's Cube is a very well-known product and this design is actually very nice. I really like the whole black and black and colored aesthetic that this goes for. The turning is horrific. It is super crunchy, super thick, if that makes any sense. I don't like thick. You want thin, smooth turning puzzles. And um, yeah, this thing is definitely not smooth turning or thin. Now I'm gonna solve it because yeah, I can't really describe ergonomics or anything other than the fact that it feels weird on your hands to hold this, especially compared to some other puzzles, and it's way heavier than it should be for something like this. You'd want a lighter puzzle. Well, not completely light. Like, you want it to weigh something, but you don't want it to be super heavy like this, because then it just gets difficult to move around. Uh, trying to solve this is an absolute slog. It barely corner cuts. Like, it can't even corner cut that. And... Yeah, the original Rubik's Cube has never been seen as an actual good quality puzzle. And for good reason. It isn't a good quality puzzle. It's it's just a Rubik's Cube. You're meant to take it, put it in your house, scramble it, and then stare at it as it's scrambled forever. 
and never touch it, ever, never, just never salt it. Like, you can touch it every once in a while, but most likely, it never make any progress. And yeah, I'm solving this in the dumbest way possible because I haven't actually been solving puzzles long enough to go over a fast solve. Or actually, well, I wouldn't say that. I started solving puzzles a very long time ago, but I never actually learned anything other than the, uh, the beginner's method of doing 3 by 3s where you, you do each layer at a time. And that's okay. It works. It's just a really long, tedious process. I don't even know why I brought the timer in here because, well, I can't really use the timer if I'm, if I, there you go. That's, that's the whole solve. I know you were probably expecting me to be here for 45 minutes doing this. Nope, there, there, there is a secret. The secret is a set of algorithms that you have to learn. It's, it's pretty simple. You follow the instructions and the puzzle does as you ask it to. No questions asked. It doesn't complain. Unless it's a smart cube and really doesn't want to be scrambled, then it's probably gonna complain. But if you don't have a smart cube, then there you go. Speaking of smart cubes, I might bring that into the next video. But what do I think of this puzzle? Would I say get it? Um, no. Unless you just happen to be at Walmart or something, you like the way it looks, you want a Rubik's Cube because you've never had one before, and you just want something that you can play around with once and then leave it on a shelf just to be seen by random visitors who come over, whether scrambled or solved, and they can ask how you solved it, and you, you secretly never scrambled it, and then you just say, oh, I did it this way and that way, and I'm a magician. I'm a magician. Want speed cubes? Don't. Ever. Don't touch this. Move it out of the screen. And this is a timer. I will be using it in future videos, but not this one, just because uh, I don't really have any way to time an original Rubik's Cube solve. It's not really that important. But yeah, that's pretty much all for today. Sorry for such a strange video, but I wanted to experiment with a Rubik's Cube review. So with that said, subscribe if you're new, like if you enjoyed, and comment down below what do you think of the original Rubik's Cube. If you want to buy one of these, I will link it in the description. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.